Hello, everybody. Welcome back to NACE Star League Call of Duty. It is St. Clair College versus Cleary University Esports. I am your host today, Matthias Talbot, also known as Mothize, and I am also he joined here today by... Tommy, also known as Naku Taken. And Theo, known as the Holy Horn. So, Tommy, Theo, what are you thinking going into this next game here against Cleary University? We haven't seen them play very much. Yeah, we, we haven't too much info. We haven't we haven't heard too much info, but one thing we do know is that our Saints are very good at Call of Duty. Uh, we've been we've been playing well, you know. We've won our first game uh, with a pretty dominant showing, and clearly lost their first game. But they did play against the number one ranked Shandua University, so uh, you know they lost to the best team, which happens. And maybe they're still a pretty strong team. So hopefully, our Saints clear up for the challenge tonight. Exactly. We don't know their power level exactly, Tommy. But looking at this scoreboard, what are you thinking? You think St. Clair will continue its six-season win streak in Call of Duty? I'm pretty sure the Saints will will look to what is it? Um, crush that 2-0 lead that they have so far and put them at 2-1. Cleary did put up a good fight though against Shenandoah last week, from what I saw. Yeah, they make might give us a good run for our money here today. Shenandoah only has 2-0 over us because they uh, they played more games than us, right? Like, I if think we so, played yeah. the same amount of games, I'm sure we'd be right up there at the top. But uh, it's also going to be a debut for some new players here today. I think it's uh, Cootie and Rupert. So I'm really excited to I see. I think it's Rupert. There's no T at the end. Rupert? Rupert. Rupert. Oh, I Rupert. think so, yeah. It's a very interesting name. You know, you don't need the T. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I'd be I'd be Mahias. Mahias. Oh, I mean, yeah. he's 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 one he's one letter from being Rupert, and mm -hmm. it's like Rupert Grant's like, oh, I didn't know this was Harry Potter. <laughs> you'd be Omi, and you'd be he holy Juan. He <laughs> <laughs> so thank God for the for the letter T, and uh, just like that, I'm hearing we got some maps cooking up, and here they are. Tommy, you want to list them out for us? Looks like uh, first game we'll be playing Hardpoint on Embassy. Follow that with Mercado. And guaranteed third game will be Expo. Yeah, it's going to be a control point, S and D. And if uh, they take us to a fifth, fourth and fifth map, it's Fortress, Hardpoint, and Hotel S and D. And the thing about uh, Embassy is I've heard it's uh, the Saints' worst map, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, so uh, I think they'll still do pretty well. Even on their worst map, they play amazingly. Their aim is always on point. Uh, and uh, do you guys have any thoughts on these maps? Well, um, we have a new roster, as you said, with a couple new debuts. So hopefully they can gel well together, play well together, and uh, hopefully they, their communication's on point. We'll see that in game, I'm sure, and uh, hopefully they're able to play well tonight. Yeah, beginning of the season is always the right time to get those team bonds cooking and melding together so you can be strong to f for the for the finale. So, uh, Tommy, what are you thinking? W what's your least favorite map there? You've you've played. Tom. I don't. I can't really say anything about Expo because I've never played it. But so I think it would be Embassy actually, just because of the long sight lines. You know, G very good for snipers. Yeah, maybe we'll see a couple of snipers. All I see is the the F. Uh, what's it called? F fifty six. F fifty six. What's it called? The the assault rifle. F N. Anyways, <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. I'm blanking on the gun, but uh, I'm not a COD sure. guy here. I'm pretty sure. I think for um, you, you can only use a sniper when it's S and D. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure. Everything else, I think it's strictly ARs SMGs. and SMGs. Well, we'll see their weapon selections coming right here in a bit. We'll be back after a short break. See you right back right here for COD.
H Hello, everybody. Welcome to Game 1, Cleary University versus St. Clair College. It is hard point here on Embassy. And just like that, Brandon getting a 2K and going hammy, taking one out. Yeah, it looks like Brandon has a good angle on uh, in the parking lot here. He's holding up beams and, and, uh, and hammy over here. Grenades out here. It's one. Cooties. You here, you already got a kill on board. Priestly got going hammy as well. He needs a plank and oh, he gets double teamed. That is unfortunate. Plank. Priestly. <laughs> Shuffling around like a crab almost. And Bowie, gonna take out Brandon there. It looks like the Saints do have control of this hard point here. Ooh, Hammy getting getting shot through the wall right there by Priestley. But it looks like Rupert's preventing their rotate to the next point. Yeah, the Saints are doing an amazing job of, uh, of pre preventing and Hammy control. going for it. Oh, but and Hammy like, gets shut down by Rupert. Uh, Rupert playing a very very good right now, but not good enough to fight uh, Bowie there. Kuti there to take out Bowie. Brandon. It's a very fast paced game on our hands here. Oh, and Brandon pre fires Hammy through the bushes. Manages to get him off point. Yeah, Clear University. Could I get finding the kills, but not able to oh, get. Oh, Kuti. Unfortunately, popped his dead and gets shut down immediately by Hammy. Yeah, Saints are able to get the good spawns and just get a bunch of free time here now. Like 25 seconds, nobody's even near the point. Clear is heading up for the next hard point, but Saints are taking over with three kills. Yeah, they are so good at it. Just like that, wow, what a jump shot by uh, by Bowie. Like, Clear University, great at shooting, but uh, the Saints are just amazing at maintaining that sight control and not letting anybody oh. touch it. Just like that. Kuti gonna take out Hammy who's trying to approach oh, there. That's, that's a first. I usually don't see MP, MP7s. I forget what the SMG is called, but it's MP7 basically. Yeah. It's usually the Vaznev that a lot of people are uh, are familiar with running. Yeah, wow. Oh, Priestly <laughs> barely gets the kill onto Hammy. Yeah, that's a great kill. Crossfire. Yeah, great crossfire there. And a Rupert watching a great tall angle oh, there. Oh, Priestly. Oh, oh no. He gets traded out for one for one. Saints are not letting Cleary even touch this point. They they got one step in it. They got one point, but Saints just playing amazingly. There's the dead silence there from Cootie. Slip and sliding around. Double grenades there. Does it find a kill? It hits. Gibby's are behind the car there. Ruby's trying to find the kill there. Cootie's got his backside covered. There we go. He takes it. Oh. Oh, what a head jumping headshot there. One more. Nice shot. And they're able to take the good spawns again with the hard point. This could be the final hard point if Cleary, if Cleary don't get enraged or very close to it. And uh, we'll see. Yeah, we shall see indeed. Maybe Cleary just needs a little bit of a warm up here. But as this game is going, it is looking very, very Saint sided right now. Ripper taking those long range gunfights. Cooty holding up the back end very sneakily, watching those long sight lines. Priestly. Just being such a, a menace on the control point there. And Saints just passed the 150 mark as well. Yeah, they are doing amazing. We're only having like one or two hard points already. It's yeah. The third one, I think. It's playing very, very well. Oh, Gibby jumps too soon. And that allows Rupert to, to shoot his feet. Yeah, those foot shots shouldn't kill, but, uh, you know, in COD. <laughs> It's like your whole body's all connected to one life source, so it counts. And just like that, what a dodge by Bowie there. Looks like Brandon and Cootie are, are oh. double teaming up. Dodged, but second later, peeks his head out, gets headshot there. There's Cootie on the point, defending against Hammy. He's got the whole team there behind the door. I don't Hammy's think he stuck knows. in there. I don't think they can know he, can he get guy. out? Oh. No, Priestley manages to pick him off. Trapped in the kitchen, getting picked off like Oh flies my, the dolphin dive into a drop shot. That was an insane movement there. Another dead silence from Cootie. Now they're just playing the waiting game, waiting for Plank. Rush in, taken out. And also Cootie, try and get oh, the double, but... He gets Plank from behind. Gotta always watch your backside. Clary, should be gearing up to... 
for the next hard point here, but they're getting picked off by St. Clair rather so soon. Yeah, they do get 10 points, which is uh, which is some progress, but <laughs> it's, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not good when you're when you're the enemy team has 213. <laughs> oh, good fight though. Maybe they just need to warm up here, get their team more. Oh, PC has a pretty good angle on the windows. Managed to pick up Bowie. Oh. What a kill there from Priestley, jumping around the corner there. Ah. Gibby, trying to take those long range fun fights for the Saints, just able to take them a little bit better here. I noticed the attack, uh, the Sorrow Sorrow they're using, they kill pretty quick. They do have an insane kill time. I think I saw it was like a one one headshot at close range. Really? The, the builds they got going on, maybe two. So that's, uh, that's crazy, with how fast they shoot. Kill times are so, so low here. I mean, it would make more sense for it to be a two-shot kill. Because if it was one shot, it would just be a sniper at that point. True, true. But I think there's a lot you can build with in this game, with the, with the gunsmithing thing. And, Ooh, and Hammy managing to get a get a kill onto Rupert with that MP7. They're defending the hardcore. Looks like the whole team's on there. Priestley getting a double there. Cootie getting a headshot as well. Headshot after headshot after headshot. I've seen so many headshots. And just like that, that is a win for St. Clair College. That's map one, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's map, map one. one. Wow, that flew by. Saints played amazing there. You know, new players, but uh, they played very cohesively for the first, yeah, first Saints, time on stream, at least. Saints putting up a very dominant performance on game one. Look at that headshot there. It's just very clean round ending kill cam there. Uh, one thing I did notice is whenever they had a hard point, they just had only one person on it and everyone else just watching crossfires. And it was really hard, really hard for Clear University to fight them one on one because Saints will always have a second player and they just they won every single trade and that's why they stayed on the hard point the whole time. Yeah, they were always just holding the rotates, just not letting Cleary breathe whatsoever. Yeah, one thing I want to point out here is that I don't know if you guys noticed this, but on the kill board. The two new players, Cootie and Rupert, they were the top killers. They were the top fraggers, like first and second there, which is a great debut first time on stream. Like, well played. They're playing amazingly. I'm pretty sure I saw one of them go like 24 and 7 or something. Something, yeah, ridi something, something ridiculous. Like yeah. yeah. Especially for a competitive game like this. That's they were like, frying. They were absolutely yeah. frying. That was a very high number of kills. Yeah, they were, they were just running through them. Yeah, nevertheless, Clear University did have some good points. Maybe hard points, just not their game mode. Maybe Embassy, their worst map, you know. Got to give them the benefit of that. We haven't seen them play much personally. So maybe they'll, they got warmed up and that we'll see a better Clear University on the next map. And uh, I don't know if we're killing time before the next map. Sounds like I hear some game audio, so I don't know if we're going to go right into the next one or if uh, we can go to break, but... It's a, it's a good time, you know? How are you guys feeling on uh, first Call of Duty cast? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's high-paced, which is always fun. It's fun to watch as well, and uh, yeah, it's fun. It's a lot less uh, going on the screen compared to, to Overwatch. I could say that much. Yeah, Overwatch, it's like total <laughs> chaos all the time. <laughs> COD is much more simple, but it's also uh, like very fast, much more mechanical. I think it's, movement a, I think it's much faster than, than Overwatch. Mm -hmm. like at least but it's less chaotic. There's less right. like gravity, hamsters, gorillas, <laughs> what you call it, you know. Could Ninja, be anything. Ninjas and their shurikens. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything could be in Overwatch, but in COD, it's all about those quick, clean, good gunfights. And we'll be right back with more Game 2 right after this quick break.
Hello, everybody. We are about to go into game two of Cleary University versus St. Clair College, Call of Duty, Nace Star League. How are we feeling today here, guys? Feeling good. Uh, oh. Feeling with the first blood for Bowie, but Priestley picks it up. Priestley gets the second kill now. And uh, yeah, good start for Saints. Brandon gets a snipe, and Brandon gets oh. a two piece to finish the round. Beautiful shots there by Brandon. Was he using, Saint Clair a, was he using a sniper? Yeah, he was using a sniper. He had two hit, two nice shots and two kills right right there. Oh. Let's see it again here. And this is uh, search and destroy on wow. what map is it? I think it's Mercado. Mercado, you're right. I'm pretty correct. sure. Yeah, great snipes. Beautiful start shots. The, yeah. Start the round. And starting with a win for Saint Clair College. Yeah, usually you usually see the the sniper in the in the middle lane on this map just because it's such a long it's angle like to hold. Rat, sorry, on the left there, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the rats are on the loose here. As clearly are going towards B, they're four manning B when they. It looks like it's just Cootie by himself. He has to hold them off. It looks like they know that. Cootie gets an entry frag, but he gets traded out. They're gonna have B site for free as Brandon picks up Bowie. Yeah, it looks like. And it Brandon looks like um, Priestley and, and Rupert are wrapping around. Yeah, Rupert. And it's down to Gibby. Let's see if he can 1v3 clutch no, this. Oh, gets oh. Taken. Did he get killed by the flashbang there? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I think, think he was so. low. Maybe. Either a grenade or a flashbang there. The explosion took him out. Let's see it. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. He was peeking the, the window. And Brandon manages to take him out. Brandon with two kills in the first round, three kills in the second round. He's he's on a heater right now. He'll he's get he's four, feeling himself. He'll get four kills next round. <laughs> four kills next round? Team wipe. Let's see. It. We're all gonna be looking at Brandon here. Let's see what he can pull off. And Plank. I'm pretty sure he's on defense now, right? They usually switch sides. Yeah, they switch sides every round, yeah. I believe. So they're gonna oh, he's Bowie, the bottom. Bowie gets taken out by and Brandon. Oh, Gibby's oh, stuck Brandon. there. Wow, Priestley takes out 4K there. Go and Hammy. Gonna take out Brandon. Plant is going down via Priestley. The scenes should know that they're both um, both both outside tunnel, but maybe one of them wraps around to um, on the right side here, or left side. Sorry. Yeah, Plank playing it very slowly, hoping someone pushes him around this corner. But I don't think that's gonna happen because the Saints are just gonna play. No. Very safe. And they know the last one's gonna be tunnel, and oh, they do manage to take him out though, securing the second round for Saints. Mm. That was well played by St. Clair. Actually, they, no, it's third round, sorry. They, they four-man pushed one site, and it's it's very effective when you have the numbers advantage. You get the plan down, and you just sit there and wait. Yeah. So, uh, well played by St. Clair right there. Yeah, just like that, we could be halfway through this match if the Saints keep playing as they are. Playing very, very well. I don't know what I'd do if I was Clear University. Do you guys have any advice for them? I think on attack, they have to all play together, and uh, if they get peaked, they need to trade that, get the bomb down, and try and play play around this, the bomb, because other than that, it's looking pretty rough for them. And it looks like they're stacking A here. They're all going towards house. That oh, but ready they for it. Fights. Three of them got picked off immediately, won. though. Wow. That four. <laughs> quick round. That's how quick it. these are going. Just like that, the Saints systematically taking out their entire team. I mean, they're just winning the gunfights. There's not much more to it. They're winning the gunfights, getting their trades, and uh, they're just playing really well. Yeah, they're just playing very well, very tight knit. Even for you know a couple new additions here, it seems like they're meshing very well. It's like like they all connected. Yeah, they usually they usually peek together. They don't peek one by one. So in yeah. case one of them loses the trade, they get traded out. Mm -hmm. So it's an even trade instead of an uneven trade. Yeah, very good tactics. Looks like the Saints are on attack Ooh. here. Oh, Ooh. that's a setup oh, play with two Brandon. grenades going into the back through the flat jack and manages to kill Bowie. It looks like Clary knows that uh, Saints entirely went to A, so he has the opportunity to flank their spawn. Brandon with the sniper again gets a pick on going high. But it looks like Cootie's aware of this flank though, and he's holding the angle. Oh, oh. and that's the round. Just like that, another win for St. Clair College, systematically taking them out again and again. I don't they're, know what you do to stop it. They're one. They're one run away from map point, though. They exactly. are on that. Yeah, point. yeah. I don't know what you do. Like you could try for the reverse sweep, but right now, I don't know. It's looking like it's another win. It's looking very grim for for Cleary here in this situation. 
And every time Bandit has picked up the sniper, he's gotten at least one kill. I think we just saw I him have it again. And I'm uh, pretty sure I just saw someone in Cleary pick up the sniper for the first time. Oh, Let's see Cleary. what he does with it. Let's see it. Pretty sure it should go middle. Should go middle, but you're going to have to defend that A point here. I don't think anyone's on B. No, no. But yeah, they Bra know they're Bra on A. Brandon, looks like Brandon knows that there's a sniper. He, he probably saw the glint from uh Oh, from That's bomb down, right? I think so. Yeah, bombs yes, down, so they just have to play defense now. Oh my oh, god, Rupert. Rupert. Looking for the ace, gets three, as they win the map 6-0, quick fashion. Very well played by Saints. that's game two for the Saints. Wow, I feel like that went by in a flash. I know uh, Clear University played it very well in search and dis- oh, the cruise missile. <laughs> I didn't even know we got that. <laughs> he stole the ace with the cruise missile. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Yeah, look, look at Brandon though, nine and one. So is Rupert, nine and one. Wow. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. Both players playing very, very well. Off. And he had, but but Rupert, he had, he, Rupert, he had more damage. He did have more damage. A little bit more damage, so you know, you can take that as you will. I know we saw Cleary University play against uh, Shenandoah, right? Shenandoah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, apparently they did pretty well, from what I hear, right? Oh, uh, and on. on, on on S and D, right? Yeah, yeah. On S and D, oh. they didn't win, but they they yeah. played well. They, they got a, a couple fight. rounds. At one point, I think the score was like three to five, so they had a good chance to come back in, in the in the series for that map. Yeah, but you know, maybe that's a hint tor towards what we can see with Shenandoah v the Saints. You know, maybe the Saints are that much better to be able to get no rounds taken off of them. They just played it very, very well. I mean, in six rounds, I think they died what three times as a team. It was it was just a dominant yeah. performance. I think I think one of them had had no deaths. Yeah, that's everyone what else I'm had only one. They had three deaths as a team, which is in six rounds. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Yeah, and just like that, we are gearing up for game three. Amazing plays all around. We'll see a right back, Cleary University versus Saint Clair College. Be right back after this break.
Welcome back. We're about to get into game three here today. NACE Star League, St. Clair College versus Clear University. Looks like it's control on Expo. Here we are. Play it on me, Tommy. What's happening? Yeah, it looks like, um, looks like Saints are getting good map control on uh, onto Cleary here. Very, very well, indeed. But Cleary are keeping the lives somewhat even, even though they're only down by two lives. Oh, you got a tick on the board there. They're getting kills. They're getting kills. A lot of down kills. Out of fight. They are pressing onwards, getting those kills. Maybe they can take some site control here in a minute. Ooh, flank with the flank on Ruper. And St. Clair are struggling to find a kill right now. Uh, like, they don't have good position on the map either. And uh, they're just losing their gunfights. Flank getting a second kill. Oh, on the same set of stairs and beams. What can you say about beams, you know? Crazy plays. I feel like uh, Hami has been uh, just running around the map killing everyone. He's 5-0. and oh. Oh. As Brandon. Saints trade two for two here. Yeah, they're trying to get map control there. One, it looks like they're doing a split push here. One on A, one on B. Trying to get that cap point on B side right now. Oh, Brandon goes down. Priestley gets the flank onto plank. Go to flank by Priestley. Not going to let that go down. Got a fight. And just like that, they're already making good progress on B. Yeah. Might be able to get a second tick as well. Oh, nice shot as Hammy goes down for the first time this game. But it looks like the Saints finally have a good foothold onto B. As Priestley gets a pick onto Gibby. Nice shot. And we have point, point B secured by St. Clair. Now they're going to move over to the A side, try and take control of it. Yeah. But the lives are looking very even. 15 to 14 for Cleary. Yeah, both teams should now be looking to use their lives sparingly when it gets down to like the last nice 10 shot. lives for each team or so. Down to brass tacks here. It's looking very dicey. From what I what I see, Clear are using the SMGs uh, a little bit more than the St. Clair. Ripper with the two. Nice shot. Oh, and Plank point. shuts him down. Wow. What a oh, range shots nice there. Shot. Let's see Hammy. Whoa. Hammy takes him out though. And Brand that's a trade though. That's a team kill and they have good spawns. They have position for this point. It's gonna be really rough for Clear to get in here. I think that's it. And that's it. That is a win for St. Clair College. But now it looks like they're uh, they're going to be switching sides now. Saints are going to be on the defense while Clary is on the attack. Yeah. That was a great long ridge kill by Brandon there. Even though the kills might have been close, St. Clair was able to get the sites when it mattered. They had the good position when it mattered and they're able to take the round pretty cleanly. A little bit better. <laughs> Brandon, <Saints>. look at him <laughs> spin. Look at that rat spin. And Brandon is, he's 9-4, and four. He's, he's playing really well this map, as this, and he's been playing well this whole series, I would say. So uh, definitely looking well, looking good. And Hammy, not, not far behind Brandon in terms of kills and deaths either. But St. Clair that. find 3 Saints to start the round. Starting you know, strong right out the gate though. As they get a trade off, Priestley dies, but Brandon gets the trade right there. And they're just able to hold down the position super well. Rupert's holding on this hallway though, he's looking for to see if anybody pushes him. He's playing very slowly. Great defensive player. Oh, he looks like oh, oh, he should have hit the door. Oh, he does. He picks up two. And a third onto Bowie. Cootie's just solo, solo holding down the objective, but he falls Hammy. down as Hammy finds two. Oh, that's so bad for Cleary. They're down, they're only down three lots, but they still have a good chance. Make it four, though. But they still have a chance to make a comeback, though. The thing is, they're getting killed, but they're making no progress on the objectives at all. St. Clair are finding the kills when they need to, and uh, they're looking really strong in this map. I don't think Clear have even oh. taken a tick on they any haven't. point yet, either. And now they're just getting gunned down by the ARs of St. Clair. Just holding them in this one spot here. Not letting them enter the building. Not letting them get their foot in the door on the point. No, it's Goody. He's holding the outside, outside spawn. Not letting them rotate onto the left oh, side of the map gosh. there. They have 20 seconds. They need to they need to pick up the pace right here, otherwise the match is over. As yeah. Rupert tries to dolphin dive, I don't know about that strategy. Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> oh, he's moving on to the point oh there. It's a big Bowie. 1v1 here. Oh, oh Bowie goes no. down, Brandon. Oh, no. That might be the gunfight to seal it, as they don't have anyone near any objective. They're gonna be pushing B hard, but Priestley and Brandon get two pickups. And they need to touch this B site. 
There it is. Plank tries to go in, get the overtime going as Bowie goes down as well. And that is the map for St. Clair. That's a 3 0. Very wow. dominant. Extremely dominant from St. Clair. First, first of three. three. All right. Three. Run it back. Oh, I, guess, I guess we're wrong. <laughs> oh. Run it back. Gonna see oh. this map a little bit My more. Bad. I had a feeling that that was not just it yet. Well, now it's match point. Now yeah. it's match point. I noticed that um, Saints did, did a really good job at trapping them in their spawn and then causing Clary to just keep on trickling into them one by one, not letting them team up or anything. Yeah, not letting them team up at all, just shattering any plans that they had, any, you know, any moves that they tried to do. Oh, oh nice no, shot. The SFG? Across the With map. With the Lockman. And once again, Saints... Right, right up to a good start. They're on the A objective. They're gonna try and take this A objective as soon as possible. Oh, nice oh. flank from Ruper. Oh, oh, nice shots from Ruper. And that's probably gonna be the A site controlled here. Like, clear are spawning far away, and Saints are just holding down these long angles. Oh. But two of them do go down. Could disrupt their A control here. Looks like he's they're running around. Oh, uh, look at Cootie though. Oh, oh? dead silence. Chase down. Trying to stop that A cap, but. They're on the B side as well. Big 1v1, oh. and one by Kudi, and he starts capturing the B side as, as the A side is being captured by the rest of the Saints. And A side is now captured. Well, it looks like he opts out to, to hold the hallway, though, or the doorway. Oh, nice shot by Kudi. This Priestley goes down to Bowie. Ooh. Oh, a jump shot. Nice He's going to hammy. Flick from Hammy, though. I mean, this is where they have to hold on. If they lose the po this 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 point, the, the map is over, the match is over. So they need to play their absolute best here as Saints look to attack the B side. They have to play their very best indeed. It's all on the line here. That's oh, Cootie, Cootie knife oh. Gibby, oh my goodness. No. Oh, and Bowie. Bowie lives on one HP, but Uber. he dies to Bramden. And now Saints will look to lock down the B side. Cousin Cootie gets a pick, gets two picks as Brandon gets a pick and now it's going to be really hard to break oh, for have two ticks now. They're one tick away from taking the series here. Oh, he doesn't see him. Oh, no. Just like that. It's all <laughs> looking Brandon up for the Saints. That's the that map. is it. That, that is <laughs> map three. That, that is, map is three. a three what a dominant oh, showing. Covering from the, the new players as well. I yeah, mean, it, was, it was great. Look at them. Great. Fist bumps all around, great teamwork, great team morale. Cootie getting the final kill there. Look at that. Look at that scoreboard. Cootie and Brandon absolutely having an insane oh game my. three. And insane. Seven KD. Yeah. That's Is well it seven played. KD? No. It's seven kills per round. My bad. Yeah, Cootie though. Might have gotten... Yeah, that was insane from both players. The new players, the old players... Melding together, old and the new, generations coming together. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they've been cooking in, in the labs, though. Exactly. They're cooking up something new, something great. They've been practicing their tight-knit, well-oiled machine, as we've seen here today. Any th thoughts? Well, uh, I think they started super strong, and they, they never let the foot, foot off the gas. They, they went pedal to the metal, tried to win all the gunfights. They played well. They helped each other out when they needed to. They played around objectives very well, and uh, it helped them take all maps pretty simple. Yeah. I, I'm, you know, I think that's all I have to say. Do you have anything you want to say, Sami? Um, no, I've, I've nothing really to say other than the fact that... Um, yeah, look at the schedule. <laughs> yep, tomorrow we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Mortal Kombat 1 here for Smash Class tomorrow at 7 p.m. And on Friday, we're looking at a 5 p.m. Rocket League game versus Nichols College. Saturday, the 23rd at 2 p.m., we're going to see an Overwatch match, St. Clair versus Grandview University. And then we're going to have another opponent at 4 p.m. Same day, different time. We'll see who that is, a little mystery opponent, depending on how the Swiss round goes. And then Sunday, we have a Rocket League match at noon, a CRL qualifier one. Should be very, very good. So, I've been Matthias Tal Talbot, Matthias. You can follow me on Twitter. I've been forced to make a Twitter post. <laughs> so, uh, it's uh, Matthias on Twitter, two Zs. Uh, you guys want to close out? 
Like, I mean, I'm Theo, so. the Holy One, and uh, it's been fun casting this game. It was a good game, and uh, yeah, good job for the Saints. Tommy. And it's been Tommy. Kui, also known as Naku Taken. Yeah, so it's been a, a great time all around. Shouts out to everyone in the back, Daniil, JJ, and Mr. Danners himself. Thank you very much, everyone at home, for joining us here today. Also, we'll see you around tomorrow on Thursday for Smash Class.